there we go. Uh, periodically, I get these emails from, I don't even know where they came from, but it's called Inspiring Quotes. And today's quote was by Jack Cornfield, who says, Peace requires us to surrender our illusions of control. So that's definitely a third chakra uh, issue. So we'll, we'll do some things to loosen that area up and get toned and And peaceful. So, so you have uh, computer shoulders today? Yeah, okay. Yeah, me too. So um, we'll just get started with some workout. Oh, I know what I meant to get. All right, so if you like, you can bring your hands in Bhu Mudra or Bhumi Yoga uh, Mudra, just the index finger and the long finger on the ground and just releasing anything that needs to be released. <clears throat> This um, mudra reduces restlessness and anxiety. And I, when I do this, I keep seeing a cycle, a, a cycle of movement where we're releasing through our index and long finger on both hands down into the earth. And then it circles around and the light comes up into our perineum, up the pranic tube, into the heart center or the chest, out the shoulders and again down the arms. So if that resonates with you and you want to send that energy uh, in that direction, you're welcome to. If you don't want to use it, that's okay too. Whatever is best for you in this moment. Just allow yourself to breathe and become quiet.
And if you'd like to leave your hands where they are in Bhu Mudra, you're welcome to do that. Or if you want to bring palms in, you know, sometimes your arms get a little tired holding them out. But so it's up to you, your choice. You can bring your palms together in Anjali Mudra. And we'll chant Om three times just to open our energy and open to the cosmos, open our, our crown chakra and our other chakras will allow them to spin but we'll take in a breath and chant om three times so breathe om. Last time. Oh. And since we're focusing on peace and letting go of some level of control, we'll just um, Use the Shanti mantra, Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. So become aware of your breath. Just let your hands relax wherever you want to place them. Notice your natural rhythm of the breath. Become aware of how you feel, how your energy level feels, any emotions that are emerging or becoming apparent. Your thoughts. How oh, they're flowing. And then check in on your, your body. See how it feels. We've already discovered our shoulders from lots of sitting in, at computer today. And I'd like to create an intention or affirmation along the lines of our quotation. Just saying, I release control at a new level, allowing the life force to flow through me and guide me. I release new levels of control and allow the universe or the 
the flow of energy, life, to flow through me. So just start to work with some head circles. Just lower your chin down to your chest. Let your neck stretch. Maybe your spine as you sit lifted. And then gently start over to the left, stretching just very gently in your neck as you take it around and see if it's a little bit stiff or tight. Slow and gentle until we get it warmed up. And then you can start to move a little faster. One more time around. The next time you come with your chin towards your chest, we'll reverse direction and keep your breathing flowing. And one more time around. And bring your chin back to your chest. So hold on to your knees and lift in your spine, take in a breath. Now curl in a little further. You have your chin down to your chest, so round your back, leaning more forward, bring your head in the direction of the floor, your feet. And then draw your sitting bones down onto the mat, roll up, allow your chin to lift. Lift it up towards the ceiling, breathe. Allow your throat chakra to open and spin. Beautiful blue light. Lift your collarbones, not your shoulders, just lifting your chest, your collarbones. Lift your ribs. Bring your shoulder blades down in your back. And we'll round out once again, rounding your back, bring your chin down towards your chest, head in the direction of the floor. Bring your sitting bones down and roll back up. Eventually lift your chin, chest, clavicles, sternum, ribs, arching in your back. And then just come back to center. And bring your arms up overhead with a nice deep breath. Interlace fingers, turn the palms away and reach up. Press back in your arms, just pulsing gently. Lift higher in your shoulders, reach your palms up to the ceiling.
and lower your arms down. Bring them behind you. Interlace your fingers behind your back and stretch your arms away. Open the shoulders, the chest. Lift in the front of your body. You can take your head back if you wish and contract in your neck and shoulders to squeeze out tightness. Good, and then release. And just bring your palms behind you on the floor and let your legs unfold. Shake out your knees. And circle around a few times in your ankles. Switch direction. And flex, sit tall on your sitting bones. So you can press the back of your legs against the mat. Lift in your heart center and crown into staff pose or dandasana. Now bring your palms just behind your hips. Bring your elbows in a little closer towards your ribs. Lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades in towards each other. Press through your heels. Press the back of your legs down and come into an arch. And then roll forward. Just slide your hands down your legs. We'll work towards incline plane, but bring your hands just a little bit further away from your hips. And then lift the heart, lift your chin, bring the arch to your back, contract in those muscles in your back, releasing any further tension, any deeper tensions. And then once again, roll forward. Okay, and then lift to center. And before we actually go into inclined plane, let's circle around in our shoulders, breathing them up and back. Breathing out as you go down. And reverse. Okay. There's one other one I'd, I'd like to add before we go into inclined plane. Just bring your arms out to the side, palms facing forward. Bring your palms together and overlap one thumb so that you can keep your hands um, connected here. Take in a breath and reach up through your crown. And as you breathe out, reach your fingertips forward. Stretch those trapezius muscles. Press the back of your head towards the wall, just the occiput. So you're, you're not lifting your chin. You're, it's, you're just keeping your head in line, but pressing back. Your chin will come in towards your chest, but not down. Now release your head, just holding naturally. Breathe once again. Breathe out and press your fingertips forward. This time, let your head 
lower down and reach through your fingertips. Keep reaching forward. Feel the space between your shoulder blades and your spine. And then release, open up, open your hands, bend your elbows, just upper arms parallel to the floor and then breathe your deep breath and open the arms and shoulders, press them back. And then reach out once again, breathe and breathe out, bring palms together again and reach through your fingertips. Press your head back, but back of your neck, the occiput. And breathe deeply once again. And this time reach and bring your head forward, relaxing your neck, stretching in your upper back and shoulders. And then release, shake out your arms, your hands, shoulders. Okay, so for inclined plane, <clears throat> We're just bringing palms behind us. Spread your fingers wide. Activate your core muscles. Press down on your hands and heels and lift your hips up. See if your toes will reach the floor. Lift your hips. You can take your head back as well. And then lower down. Flex your feet here and breathe, arms up overhead. Reach, reach for the ceiling and hinge forward in your hips, keeping a straight spine. Just go to where your body will allow and allow your body to relax into the stretch. So breathe and lengthen through your fingers. Breathe out and relax down, hinging in your hips. Press the back of your legs against the mat that will help your stretch. And then scoop your fingers forward. Use your arms to lift you up. Breathe. And release your arms down. We'll come back into inclined plane. Point your toes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Palms behind you. And breathe. And press down in palms and heels. Lift your hips. And once again, lower down. Come sitting tall. Breathe arms overhead. Lift fingertips to the ceiling. And hinge forward, tilting in the hips coming down over your legs. And once again, scoop fingertips forward and use your arms to lift you, pull yourself up. Now bend your right knee, bring your right foot on the outside of your left leg. Turn to your right, wrap your left arm around your right knee and bring your right hand onto the mat for your twist. Flex your left foot.
press against your edge. Now press down on your right palm. Bring your left hand, your fingertips onto the mat. Take your left foot, toes towards the long edge of your mat. Press down on your hands, lift your hips and just stretch your right leg out. Right foot resting on the left. Lift into your plank, your side plank. Legs are active and working. Now bring your right knee onto the mat. Bring your left knee onto the mat. And we'll go to the other side. So first we'll start with an incline plane, bend forward, and then when we come up, we'll go back into uh, preparation for our twist. So press palms into the mat and breathe. Point your toes and lift up. And allow your hips to come back down, flex your feet, breathe arms overhead. Hinge forward in the hips, lead with your chest. Down over your legs. And then scoop fingertips forward. Again, use your arms to lift you. Now bend your left knee. Bring your foot outside of your right leg. Turn to your left. Wrap your right arm around your left knee and lower your left arm down behind you. Flex your right foot and relax into your twist. All right, now press down in your left palm, bring your right fingertips in front of you, just about opposite your left hip. Turn your right foot, toes towards the long edge of your mat. Press down on your hands, lift your hips, and just slide your left leg so that your foot rests on top of the Right foot and reach up into your side plank. Feel how this might make you feel open and strong. And then bend your left knee, bring your right hand down, knees together, just facing front, lift up onto your knees, breathe arms up overhead, reach up, and you might want to separate your knees just slightly, reach up and go to the back, elongate the spine. Engage your hips, open the front of your body, 
after your plank poses. Stretching those muscles we just used in our plank. And then open arms, lift forward, bring palms down onto your mat. And stretch out in the front plank, but focus on your heels, press your heels away to stretch your calf muscles, see how they're doing after your incline plane and Pachamatanasana. Focus on your core muscles. And then let your knees down onto the mat. Lift back up for camel. Once again, stretching the front of our bodies after working the core muscles. <clears throat> you can start with palms on your sacrum area if you want. Just breathe and lift in your spine. Elbows pulled in towards each other. Engage hips. And as you exhale, lean back stretching your core muscles, your abdomen. Lean back, come forward, just lifting straight tall. Breathe and reach up and go back into camel. This time, if you wanna reach for your heels, Just bring your hands onto your heels. Relax your head back or chin to your chest, whichever is best for you. And you can also let your tops of your feet down onto the mat and increase your stretch. Your psoas muscles will feel this. Reach forward with one arm. And once again, reach forward, stretch your feet back for plank. Breathe as you hold the pose. And now let your knees down. One more camel. Pressing up onto your knees. Reach up, extend your spine, create space for yourself. Reach for your heels. Open the chest, the abdominal muscles. And then you can let the tops of your feet down onto the mat and increase your stretch. Now reach one arm forward once again. Reach for the mat. This time we'll come into downward facing dog. Sit 
So here we have an opportunity to contract in the abdominal muscles to support the body here, much like the arches in the feet. And then just step your right foot forward. Press on your fingertips. And start to lift up into warrior one. Arms out to the side and then bringing palms up overhead. Reaching up, and if you're able to, go to the back. Take advantage of being loosened up. Open the front of your body. And come to center, reach for the floor. Step back into downward dog. And now step the left leg forward. We'll come into warrior one once again, onto fingertips, press down, legs are active here, arms overhead, reach up and back. And then reach forward for the floor once again. This time, step the back foot in. Arms out to the side, a reversed swan. Bring arms up overhead and into your heart center. All right. Now you want to turn sideways. We'll open our hips a little bit more for warrior two. So we'll come into horse pose for, for this opening here. So palms over your heart. Breathe. And as you breathe out, press the knees open as you lower your hips down in between your knees, in between your heels. Squeeze the legs and press back up. Breathe out, lower down, open the knees. Breathe up and down. and hold and just work with your body, opening, lowering your hips. And then squeeze the legs as you come in, breathe arms up overhead and open out into your warrior two pose. Open the shoulders. See if you can go deeper into your pose. We do want to press the hip down and back. Just a reminder. Press down in both feet, pull back from your warrior and we'll switch to the other side.
Hip bones pointing forward, breathe. Breathe out into your warrior two. So activate your core muscles here, supporting the body. Stimulating your third chakra, your power, emotions, strength, and self-esteem. Allowing ourselves to release control and allow the universe, the life force to flow, leading us. And pull back from your warrior two. Turn your toes forward. Release your arms down. Circle around in your shoulders. Loosen them up. Reverse. And then just swing your arms after all that holding. All right. Now just lean forward for a forward fold. You can hold on to your ankles or press palms into the floor. Separate your feet as far as you're able and tilt your hips up. Press down on your fingertips, lift your chin and your tailbone into monkey. And breathe out as you lower down into your stretch. Just walk your hands over to one leg. Pull in for a stretch. And walk your hands over to the other leg. Pull in for a stretch. Pull back to center. You can step or hop your feet back in. Let your knees down. Come down onto one hip and prepare for Shavasana. If you need your socks or a blanket, just make yourself as comfortable as you can. And as we relax down into the silence, the stillness, remember our quotation, peace requires us to surrender our illusions of control. We really don't control anything. Sometimes we may think we do and we try. But that's not the way it works. And our intention, affirmation was, I release new levels of control and allow life to flow through me and guide me. Relax down now.
safe, secure, protected from all harm. Shavasana is a form of letting go, releasing hold on our muscles and joints, on our breathing, relaxing our mind, body, connect with spirit. Start to come back now. Aware of yourself in a relaxed pose on the mat, on the ground. Perhaps send a little gratitude for your ability to see your habits, your behaviors, your attachments. We use the awareness of these to release and grow closer to spirit.
Bring some gentle little moves into your hands. Into your feet. Your neck as you turn your head side to side. Slide your feet together and lift your knees to your chest. Give yourself a good stretch. The final one for this practice. And then come to one side and up into sitting. And we'll use uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, Vajra Mudra. So long finger pads together and fold in all the other fingers. Touch the thumb pads and point them down. Bring your thumbs to your solar plexus. Balancing the emotions. Activating that chakra. bringing strength. Awareness. Allowing our power to remain open even under stress. Sometimes we squeeze closed in this chakra. I release new levels of control, allowing life to flow through me and guide me. And then bring palms into Anjali Mudra. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May you enjoy the journey life has you on. <laughs> Namaste. That was awesome. Oh, all felt, that, that neck good. and back. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh, me too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.